everybody, it's Kristen and I have a total rehaul for you. If you are new to a total rehaul, first of all, welcome. Second of all, this is just where I go back, I look at a haul that I've done a few months back, um, and this one I feel like was in, this was February-ish sort of time frame. And hopefully I have used all the products that I hauled. Sometimes I haven't and it's a reminder for me that I need to try them. Um, and I come back and let you know what I thought of those products because they may not have um, fit into uh, favorites or fails. They might kind of be somewhere in between or maybe just something I liked but didn't get a chance to talk about. So this was like an epic haul. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first things on there was the um, Hourglass Strobe. I have a list in front of me, by the way, in case you're wondering what I might be looking at. Um, it was the Hourglass Strobe Lighting Power in Euphoric and Iridescent. So let me open these up and let you see. So this is the Iridescent here and this is Euphoric. The Iridescent just is a little pinkier and this is a little more beige. And I do like these. I'm wearing the Iridescent today. I think that they are nice. I don't, I don't know. They, they do blend very well into the skin like just about any Hourglass products. Just like their blushes. They pair very well with their blushes or with any matte blush. Um, I just don't think that they are a be all end all like you have to have one, but I do like them. Okay, the next thing is kind of the same thing. These are the Natasha Denona Quince and I have one in 04 and 08. So I do like these. I'm not saying that I don't like them. I just don't find them to be a be all end all have to have and I don't know why I'm in such a minority on that, but I, I again, I do like them and the I'm wearing one of the shades today. I'm wearing the taupe shade from the, um, which one is this, the 05 palette, and I mean, they they are amazing as far as pigmentation, but let me just show you, if you pick up too much product, do you see how it's just a little bit, chunky is not the right word, but I don't know another word to say, and then you can blend it out and then it's fine, but I, I don't know. I like them. I don't dislike them. What's funny is when I was at IMADS, I purchased the big palette and this is the blue purple or the purple blue whichever that one is and um I just don't I, it was just one of those kind of caught up in the moment sort of things and um I was going to sell it I had put it on Instagram and then there wasn't a lot of interest and I was like do I really want to sell it and so I pull it off pulled it off and so I don't know anyway Very nice yes is your life going to be over if you don't have one no so that <laughs> that's what we're gonna end with there um, Alright, the next thing was the Super Chick Lacquer. I purchased some nail polishes from them and I, this, these chipped on me within like a day, all of them. So I don't, I don't know if it's just this particular formula. I had one in Dumb Luck, which is the green, cause and effect, and happenstance is the pink. Um, they all chipped very, very quickly on me. I didn't, I didn't like those at all. The next item was a Quint from Cam Cosmetics, and these are just gorgeous summer shades. I've only worn this a few times. Really, really pretty. It was limited edition, but um, there are the first four. The last one. I remember when I bought this, I was thinking this could be perfect for summer, and I need to break this out and wear this more. I love the. It's no secret that I love their eyeshadows. I think they have great formulation. They last well. They blend on, on each other well. Really, really like those. So. All right, Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. I had uh, three items from them. I had a quad, a blush, and an eyeliner. And I love this quad. This is one of my favorite quads of all time, and I've worn this a bunch of times. I think I have this in a favorites as well, if I remember correctly. This is in number two. And just really, 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 really pretty. And I don't know, like I know with Chanel, their quads are hit and miss. I don't know if... The Armani quads are the same or not, but absolutely love that one. And every time I wear that in a video, you guys say something <laughs> about how you like it. The cheek fabric is, is also very nice. I, I like their blushes. They blend very well. I don't feel like they last quite as long as some other blushes, but I didn't have any and I wanted to just have one. And this is a perfect use, you know, like wear all the time sort of shade. And then the last thing, um, whoops, I opened the wrong end, <laughs> was a liner in number 10. It's a taupe liner. And I like this, you know, it's again, it's just kind of one of those things where I wanted a couple things from Armani um, and I, I have a f I have other products from the line that I really like and th this is nice. I just, I kind of would like to get another shade to see if it, this I feel like it wears very, very so, well. Anyway, that, those are winners. All, all three of those are winners. I really, really liked them. Next item on there was the Ulta Premium Cotton Rounds. I don't remember using those. So either they're in my cupboard to use yet, I didn't notice them when I looked, 
or I didn't, they didn't leave a, a lasting impression on me. <laughs> one or the other. Uh, the One Wild Rose Champagne Blush. I love this. I had this in a favorites. This will probably be my yearly favorites. I just think this is a stunning, I need to get a wet, wet wipe for my fingers. If you are much darker than me, this will not show up on you. And I may have a hard time showing it to you here, but very, very pretty. For some reason, it does go on the cheeks just a little bit darker than what that swatch is and what it looks like in pan. But it's gorgeous. It has just a nice little sheen. Lasts a fair amount of time. But I really like the color. I think it's a, that's a good drugstore. All right. So the next thing was the Fiona Styles products that had just must have recently released. I think it was in Ulta, like right when they released. And I purchased four things and ended up returning two and keeping two. I did a video on that, which I will link below for you. But the blush in Main Lane was one of my favorites. This actually will be, I'm quite certain, on my favorite. And I'm wearing this today uh, with a little bit, like I said, of that hourglass over the top. But this will be one of my yearly favorites. This is just so pretty. It lasts a really long time. It blends into the skin nicely. It It's still shocking to me that this product... Um, there, I built it up a little bit so you can see. It's still shocking to me that this product is the same from the same line as that quad because whew, and what's interesting is that have you heard anybody talk about Fiona Styles in a while because <laughs> I haven't and it was all over the place originally so uh, then this the other th the next thing I had on there was a luminous finish foundation I returned that I didn't like that at all I had the quad in Topanga I didn't like that at all I felt like the colors were really muddy when I applied them um, again, I'll link that below. And then the other thing that I did keep was that I did keep that I did keep was the lipstick in Rennie. This is a really nice lipstick, really pretty shade, more towards like um, fall winter for me, but really really pretty. It could be actually be every day, but so those were the things that I liked from that line. The next item was the pure eye polish. I can't remember which shade I had it in. And I don't have it on there, but that was a fail for me. It was like I, I would push on it and nothing came out of it. I think I had two of them, if I remember correctly, and they were the same. So I returned those. A lot of people said they weren't all like that, but I was disappointed enough that the two that I had were like that. If I remember, I feel like it was two that I went ahead and returned them. Um, all right. I purchased four of the NYX Ombre Lip Duos. And I really like these. The one I have the most experience with and have talked the most about is the one in Rags to Riches. So this is the one in Rags to Riches. So it has a little kind of tiny liner on the end. And then on the other side, it still has a little bit of a point to it, but it's a little bit thicker. And it just gives you, you know, the perfect shades to do an ombre lip with. Really like this one. Probably the most wearable of them. Second, my second favorite is the one in... Poppy and Lily, and I had this on earlier. It just didn't look very well, very good with the pink that I was wearing. But um, I, I really, I like these. I think they're fun and they last really well. They are matte, but they are not drying by any means. So there's the other ones. And then, if you want to see the swatches of all of them, you can go check them out. The other one I had is Hollywood and Wine and Bonnie and Clyde. And I like these, I've only worn these each a couple of times, but the other ones I've worn, you know, Race to Riches and the Poppy and Lily, I've worn a lot. That Poppy and Lily, if you're looking for that kind of a shade for summer, um, check this out. It's really, really pretty and, a, you know, like a decent price point. Uh, all right, the next thing is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today. It's the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick, and this is the shade in Pink Nude. I really like this. I, the Soft Raspberry was the other one I purchased, and it was a repurchase. I had used up the majority of it, but then misplaced or loaned to somebody something. I don't know. Uh, the, the, the one in Soft Raspberry, which I wear all the time. Another one that I have that I really like, especially in the summer, is Bright Raspberry. You can see how much I've used of that. But I'll just give you a little swatch of each of them. I think they had just come out with the Pink Nude and a couple other newer shades that they didn't have in the line before. So that is the Bright Berry, that's the Pink Nude, and then that's the Soft Raspberry. I love these. They are, you know, Emily always calls them the, what does she call them? The sweatpants of lip products, and they really are. They are so comfortable on your lips. In the winter, in the summer, they're, I just, I really, they're such a great go-to. You can throw them on very quickly. I really like right, them. A couple of things I no longer have. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Brunette. 
and the L'Oreal Brow Stylist in Brunette. I just recently talked about both of those in a skinny brow product video, which I will link below for you. The NYX one was okay, but the L'Oreal one ended up being my favorite of those, and like I said, I'll link that below for you. Uh, I had purchased the Burt's Bees 100% Natural Lipstick in Iced Iris and Suede Splash. I don't really like these at all. There's not any pigment to them. They didn't, not the day that they would because they're drugstore, but they didn't have a test or anything for me to kind of see. But um, this is me like going back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth quite a few times with the one in Suede. They don't, I, they don't always like twist down all the way. I, I just don't like these a lot, so I'm going to probably pass these along. And that's the one with the iris. And, and I'm not sure that they're meant to have a ton of pigmentation. But they were not winners for me. I would not suggest those at all. And when, you know, they do, the color that they put on there is gone like that, and there's no, like, lasting moisturizing effect or anything. So those, those unfortunately for me, were not so a winner. I've been gifted a lipstick from the Urban Decay Revolution line, which is no longer, but this shade is still in the line, in the newer line. This is the shade in Manic. And I, I do like this. This was the only Revolution lipstick that I ever tried that I liked. And I had purchased the lip liner in Manic to go along with it. <clears throat> and that's the lip liner there. So this is my first Urban Decay lip liner. And I was, I'm was i really impressed with these. I have purchased a couple since then in the Gwen Stefani line. But um, I, I really, I'm impressed with that. I was impressed with that liner and that lipstick. It was, like I said, the only, <laughs> the only ones from that line that I really appreciated. All right, so here's one that's actually in my fails for this month. You haven't seen that yet, because, but you will see it at the end of July. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede. This was in Tea and Cookies. So it looks like this. These, if, if you have lips that have any sort of age to them at all, the color, by the way, is gorgeous. I love the color. Very pretty. So these don't ever dry down. They're not transfer proof. They're definitely not a liquid lipstick. Um, it's not claiming to be, I'm just, it's a cream lipstick, but it shows every single line you have ever had in your life on your lips. And I do not like that at all. So that, <laughs> that one unfortunately was not a winner for me. The next product, unfortunately, I, I purchased in a shade too light. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. I may um, gift this to a friend that wouldn't mind that I've used it. It has a doe foot applicator. This is the NYX HD Concealer, and I purchased it in porcelain, thinking that when I kind of looked at them, it, you couldn't open them up and see. It looked like it would work, but not so much. It's just a little too brightening <laughs> underneath my eyes for me. So I, I only put it on there the once... I think once. I think I only put it on once and was like, oh, that is not going to work. So I can't even speak to the product. I would like to purchase it, however, in the correct and, you know, report back to you, but I will wait to do that till I've worked through a few more concealers. The next two things were the, these had just recently come out, the color tattoos in the stick form. They're called the Concentrated Crayon. And I had the one in Truffle. And then what is this one called? Um, Barely Beige. I gotta tell you guys, these were a disappointment to me. I don't know, I'd be curious if anybody else had this, but they just, I I wanted them to be like the, the color tattoos and they just weren't. I didn't feel like they lasted as long. So there, there they are like full on, like if you just put it on and don't blend it in at all. And then when you blend it in it a little bit, they just kind of disappear. <laughs> So, which is so different from the actual color tattoos. So, those I felt like were a fail. I didn't like those at all. So, this was the haul that I had shown the Beauty Junkie Premium Contour, Beauty Junkies, excuse me, Premium Contour and Highlight Kit. So, it came with four brushes like this and the sponge. I really like the sponge. This is as close to the Beauty Blender as I have ever seen. All right, I had to have a little shuffling around because my um, battery was dying <laughs> on my camera. Just one of those mornings. So, all right. So this was a five piece kit. It also, I think, if I remember correctly, came with the same, the full leather that that most of their kits come with. Um, I, I really like these. I did a full review on these, and I love this. I love this sponge. I think it's a really great value. I'm gonna go ahead and list. I asked her when I knew I was gonna be doing this haul if I if if we if I could get another code for you guys. The code doesn't do anything for me. It only does something for you, and it gives you. I think it's 25% off a kit of brushes or like a set of brushes or a single brush you can choose. So I'll list that below for you. But I really like these. I don't, the only one I don't use very often is this little tiny one, which is the Pro Detailer. But it, you could totally use this for um, eye work as well. I just don't use it a ton. 
This one I've been using quite a bit right now for my bronzer. I'm trying to um, work through a bronzer and this works really well. I mean, I think I said it in the video too. It blends into the skin very well. It works well for foundation too, so it's a good multitasker. Um, this one is just the most unique brush that I have of a dual fiber brush with a little bit longer hair. works really well for contouring. And then a, your kind of standard tapered little brush that works well under the eyes, highlight, contour, hairline, lots of things. It's a really good price. So love those. I will list that code below for you guys. Now I have a couple of things I haven't used. I keep saving them for like a special occasion because they were a, a birthday gift to me from my friend Jamie. And this is the Hair Therapy Deep Conditioning Steam Hair Wrap. So I apologize. I have not used that. I cannot report back on that. And I have not used the Mini Masks Trio that she sent me either from Bobbi Brown. So I need to use both of those because why am I saving them? It's just something that I do. I like save things and, you know, like, I'm going to use it for some special occasion because it was a gift to me. It's just, I need to just use them. She would not be happy with me. Uh, another item that was a gift from my friend, and this was from Kristen321, was the Love Flush palette. I'm not sure if this is still available. If I can find it, I will list it below for you guys. Um, but just has all those. I really liked those. I talked about these um, when I did a Too Faced four looks one palette and this one I used that along with the other and then um, the other thing that it was in here that I've not tried that Kristen had sent to me and it's just this is one of the issues not issues but things that happen when I'm working through products is that I don't I'm focusing on working through those foundations and I kind of forget about other foundations that I get or want to try or report back on so this was the wander stick foundation so I will be trying this here in the next few months and I will for sure report back and then there was a little sponge that came with it as well and then lastly was a birthday gift from a sweet subscriber who has you know become a friend as well and it was the I, I will put the name below. I will, I will butcher it. It was the Chanel highlight that looks like this. I love this. I've shown this in a favorites. I can't tell if it's too bright in there for you guys to see. There's a little pink and a little white as well. I really, really like this. Have it and enjoyed. Every time I pull it out, I feel kind of special. It's just one of those products that makes you feel kind of fancy. All right. That is everything. Whew. <clears throat> I don't know how long this is. If you watch to the end, thank you so much. Um, I've told you everything that is on my face with the exception of, like I said, I have that taupe from the, Earth, from the Natasha Denona palette. And then I just have used, I just recently purchased this. And this is the Blushing Nudes, Blushed Nudes from Maybelline. And I just have a little bit of this in the crease and then a little bit of that to kind of deepen things out a little bit. And I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and got some helpful information out of it. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.